Hi, Lou. Come here, buddy. Hey, where's the babies today? Lou? Lou? Hey, buddy. Where's the babies? Huh? Where's the babies? They didn't come visit you today, did they? That's right. Where's your buddy? Where's Nada? Oh, he's, he's in the bathroom. I hear you, Robin. There's some ducks. The quackers. It's fixing the rain. There's not a back there. He's not interested in anything going on up here. My Pekin Ducks, my Jersey Giant Bard Rock Rooster, one of them. This is Lou. Lou is four years old, going on five. And him and his, uh, his buddy back there, they've been fighting. I need to get another gelded male. Hello, big boy. Hey. He's actually a small boy. He's watching the cat here. He's not real crazy about cats being in his yard. Right, Lou? And they've had their afternoon snack. I thought they were fixing to go at it, but they called it off. I guess they're too hungry. Lou and Nada are Suri alpacas, S-U-R-I, Suri, and their fiber hangs in dreadlocks. And we will get a real close-up look. They were sheared last May, so they have about five more months before they get sheared again. And Nada and Lou are watching. There's two little goats back there at the back, and they're in a holding pen. Uh, one of them will be giving birth soon. That's eyelashes. She's the one who had quads last year. So I want her to be kind of close to keep an eye on her. But Lou is looking for the babies because he didn't get to see them. As he did earlier yesterday, he played on the gymnasium with one of the little myotonics. And he had a good time. I thought the two boys were fixing to scrap. They get on each other's nerves sometimes. When I let them out of the gate and they get to roam the pasture, they separate. One goes one end of the pasture and the other one goes to the, to the goat pasture where the babies are at. And this one right here, the white one, is the one who loves the babies. They're watching each other.
There's one right there. He's peeking around the corner. Look at that. And there's our Sebastopol geese. And they will tear you a new hole in your pants if you don't watch them. But they're good watchdogs. Hey, this is Linda, and this is another episode of Life on the Farm. And this time, whoa-oh, we have alpacas fighting. And this is just another day on the farm. And if you uh, would please hit subscribe and hit that bell, and we'll let you know when another one comes up. And share, if you will. We could always use some love. And then we'll watch the alpacas argue a little bit. See ya. Until next time. What are you two boys up to? Huh? We have one that thinks he's boss and one that knows he's boss. So, Nada. N-A-U-D-A -A is the brown one, and Lou, L-L-U-G-H, is the white one, or fawn color. Hey, boys, are y'all going to behave yourselves? No more fighting? Okay. It's taken us months for them to get pretty close to us, but they have a great little humming sound. And they don't knock you down like the goats do when it comes to food. Right, boys? Yeah. So, we're done. We're not going to argue anymore. And when they see something, they're watching a cat. When they, when they see something, they, they put their ears up and put them back and... And sometimes they make this braying sound like a donkey if they really, really think it's a danger. But right now, they just, they're just curious about that cat sitting right there. They don't hurt them. They don't chase them. Here comes the train, boys. What do you think about that? Huh? What do you think about that? Huh? Let me see your eyes. Huh? There we go. Hey. So, for tonight, we're going to say good evening, and Lou and Nada will say good evening. So, we'll see you on the next one. Bye!